Hello and welcome back. Um, so I want to start off uh, today's tour out here in the garage um, because that's where we have the baby chicks. I wanted you to see how they're doing. They're getting big. Um, it's still going to be a while before we get to put them outside though. Um, let's come on outside in the sunshine and I want to show you uh, how we're doing on the tubs. Okay, so here are the tubs, the 50-gallon um, barrels that uh, we cut in half. Um, we didn't put holes in them. Um, this is the corrugated pipe. Um, it's six inch, um, and it goes in the bottom, two pieces like that. And then we're waiting on the landscape fabric to come in, and then that's gonna go on top, and the sides are gonna dip down into the water. We will have a hole drilled in the side about five inches up. And then with the landscape fabric dipped down into the water, it's going to um, have the dirt in there. And that dirt's going to be able to wick the water up to the plants. Uh, our weed fabric should be here about Tuesday or so. However, they're calling for nothing but rain all next week. So I don't think we're going to get these done then. Um, my chickens are out free ranging. We got a couple of new uh, fruit trees there. We got one apple and one pear to join our other fruit trees. Oh, Mr. McBeak's chasing the ladies. We have two apples, a peach, and a pear already here. So we're adding another apple and another pear. Um, this bed here has a couple of strawberries still dangling from last year and the year before. Um, it has a couple of my blueberry bushes and then my blackberry vines. I will be planting, I got 25 uh, bare root strawberry plants, so I will be planting those in this bed as well. Okay, so we're at my little container garden um, and let's see we have here our collards and that's how they're looking this is our cabbage our kale um, let's see that's more kale um, I think that's all that's come up here so far now for the Did this is in a pattern of five like corners here one in the middle kind of like the five on a dot is on this side I have collards and on that side I have cabbage um, and then in between the collards I planted carrots but I don't think the carrots are going to come up it's too early but here you can see um, this is my cabbage and this is my spinach. I planted spinach in between on this side, so those are coming up. Um, not much else is coming up at the moment. Um, I have potatoes um, in this one pot has grown some, so I put some more soil back in that. Um, I found this piece of pipe um, laying around so there's no bottom or anything put cardboard in the bottom started putting soil in it and I'll plant something in that as well um, my husband he's way over there on our empty lot mowing um, he's mowed our neighbor's yard um, our, our lawnmower has the attachment where you can get bags the grass clippings so he's been doing that for our yard in our neighbor's yard, uh, Miss Marie, um, so that we can get all these wonderful extra grass clippings so that we can use them out here in the um, in-ground garden. Now he's tilled this once and uh, most likely will uh, retill this again tomorrow. Here is the grass clippings that we've collected so far. And there is our 
trailer full of old hay and uh, horse manure. Alright, so this here is one of our apple trees. And this one over here is also the other apple tree. Um, and they're just starting to come out from the season. Okay. And then we'll walk over here. One's a pear, one's a peach. So here's the other one. It's coming out nicely. We actually have some little blooms and all on it. I don't know if you see them. There's that one. And then this one. Alright, I'm just bringing you back over here to my berry bed because time has elapsed since earlier this morning. Um, these are the blackberries. I have two different varieties and I could not tell you the names of the two. So this is the one. It was extremely prolific last year. And then this is the other one that's just starting to bud out. But I don't know if you can see, but I have planted all 25 bare root strawberries in my flower bed. So we're good to go on that. Um, I also have three blueberry bushes, but I don't know, don't know if that one survived. Um, this one, I don't know if you can see that. It just, I wasn't sure if it had survived, but it's starting to show some signs of life. And then this one is actually looking pretty good. So we may have to replace some blueberry bushes. However, if I do, I'm actually going to start planting out in the field. Um, that's our ultimate goal, is to get our berry bushes out there. Wind keeps knocking my poor little bicycle over. Now, don't think much about this. This got pulled out of trash and painted it up to look all nice and clean. So, another little tip. Are those with garden flags? And if they keep flying off, um, there we go. Put a little binder clip on the end. Guess what? It won't fly off anymore might get bunched up on the end but you won't be going and searching for your flags well i've actually lost flags six years that four wheeler going by on my little blue bonnets coming up everything is really starting to bloom out turn green. Oh, my hostas. My hostas under here don't look so bad. Um, eh, they all look pretty good. Some are still coming up. So, um, so I'll finish up in the house in a little bit. Hey guys, so I'm at the back of my property. Um, I had to replace the uh, batteries in one of my cameras. Um, I just wanted to show you a little bit of the back. Um, that's for the back part of the field. You can just barely see my house right there, the top of the house. Um, let's see. Uh, there is our tripod stand, as you can see it. Um, this area right back over here is kind of, I guess you'd call it swampy. It gets awfully wet when it rains. Um, sorry, I'm leaning over to pick up some trash that was out in our field. I cannot stand to see trash um, on the roadside, in people's yards. Um, but that being said, let me show you. We actually have a little landfill that we acquired when we bought the house. Let me show you. So this area in here is just gobstock full of trash 
yes, it looks like there's a lot of um, dead wood in there and all, but there's actually a lot of garbage. I've taken, I don't even know how many garbage bags full out. Um, let me see. You can see some. I'd have to walk around. Uh, but in the meantime, let me show you all of my dandelions. The bees will be happy. That's for sure. Let me walk around and let me show you some of the trash that we have. So if you remember, in my first video, I told you that we have a creek that runs around our property. Here's the creek on the backside, and it just keeps on going. So here is our own private little landfill full of trash. Um, as I've said, I've taken quite a few garbage bags full of trash out. If we could ever afford it, I'd want to get a, uh, what are those things, the big dumpster and bring back here and have like a piece of machinery or something. Number one, pile up the wood, we'll burn that. Uh, the wood ash is good for the soil, but get rid of all this trash. I hate seeing all of this. Um, while we're back here, let me, let me show you. We have, can you see that? Those are some deer tracks. We have plenty mm -hmm. of wildlife back here. Hey guys, so um, this is the closing of the video. It has been a couple of days of the videoing. Um, we've been really busy trying to get everything ready between the raised beds, the containers, the in-ground, getting everything tilled, getting the hay out, getting that mounded. Um, and just everyday life with all the other animals. We've got the baby chicks. I have the regular chickens. We've got the cats. We've got the dogs. So it's a busy, hectic life, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, I'm hoping that you all are enjoying these and that you might learn a few things. I am not by any means a know-all of anything. I am still learning. If there's things that you all know, please, by all means, let me know. We can learn from each other. Um, I will put um, down in the comments or whatever, I will um, have some links to some of the places that I've used to um, learn what I've gotten to know. Um, Roots and Refuge, I love. Um, gardening with Leon is great. Um, my husband loves... Um, Arms Family Homestead, and Keeping It Dutch. Uh, there's a few others that we also watch and that we learn from, but those are the main ones. If, if there's other ones that you know about that might be really good for me to watch, by all means, let me know. Um, I'll, I'll do other videos, um, not just of the farming and all, but also of maybe me cooking different things, of maybe some of my crafts. Uh, I make really nice hot pads um, that my grandmother used to use. She used to make them and now I make them really good. And maybe one day I'll uh, record and show you all how I do it. Um, I'm hoping to send some out to a few people as well. And I've given some as gifts. They're really nice. Um, but like I said, I, I hope that you all are learning something from some of this and that you're enjoying it. Of course, please leave any comments. Uh, make sure that you all subscribe and like my video and ring that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I post new videos, okay? So I hope you all stay safe, stay healthy, and have a blessed day.